Hi students, welcome back. So now let's see another program that is JDC, JDBC program to insert multiple records into a table. In the previous video, I explained how to insert a single record, single fields into a table. So a uh, student table. Now let's see uh, how to insert multiple uh, records into a student table. Okay. So I'm just taking the same program. So whatever I had explained in the previous video, insert demo.java. So here, uh, let me remove only this step. Okay. So first package JDBC import java.sql. So insert demo class is loaded. A main method called try clash uh, block. You have to be right because if any error is occurred, it throws an exception. So this class will throw an expression uh, exceptions, right? So first, for loading the drivers, you have to use class dot for name oracle jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver. Okay. So after loading the drivers, connection has to be established. For connection establishment, connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection. So this is a URL jdbc. It's a protocol sub protocol oracle dot uh, column thin thin for type four drivers you have to use the thin and if your database is present in your system you have to use a local host at the rate local host and 1521 is the port id okay and orcl it's a global info name for the enterprises edition if you are using the express edition you have to write xe so I, mine is the enterprises edition oracle 19c enterprises edition so further the global info is orcl System is my database username and the Banu DB is my password, Oracle database password. So first statement, uh, STMT with an object reference, a connection is created, create statement, con dot create statement. So now you have to create a statement. What statement you need to be create now? So I want to, uh, so for inserting into student table, we have to use the method execute update. So now I want to insert multiple records. So for inserting multiple records, I'm calling a string class string insert one equal to, oh, let me take uh, the query insert into student values. So let's take the values, uh, student values or two comma, uh, it's single quote B B B. Okay, and the mark should be like 85. Okay. So this is the first query. So this is a first query. So in the same way, you have to write at least try to insert uh, three rows. So try to insert three rows. Okay, so insert two. Insert into student values, let us take three, C, 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 and let me take 75 marks. Next, insert three, insert into student values, let's take the roll number is four, D, 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 and the marks are like around uh, 68, okay? So I inserted three records. Actually, this is a static query. If you are working with the dynamic query, you can directly run into the applications. In the here itself, you can run, enter the data directly. Okay. So now I'm using the static SQL queries. So that's why I'm writing in the program. Okay. So after uh, inserting everything, you have to call the statement like STMT. You have to add, add batch. You have to use the command C here, add batch string SQL. Okay. So the batch command you have to call statement dot add batch. What you have to write? Insert one. Insert one. Object reference. Next, in the same way, statement dot add batch. Insert two. Insert two. Now, statement dot add batch insert three so three records are inserted okay so after that you have to execute the batch right now stmt dot execute batch execute batch 
Okay. So the batch is executed. So now write the system dot out dot print ln. So what you are writing? Records inserted successfully. If everything is works well, it prints records uh, inserted successfully. Otherwise, it throws an exception. Okay, SQL exception it will throw. Okay. So try close catch. Okay. Mm. Catch system. So this is what inserting multiple records. So what I had done, I had just loaded the driver and the connection is established. Next, just I had taken the class string and I insert one is one object. Okay, a data is entered in a one object and another object. So that is uh, inserted by using the command add batch. Okay, after that all executed. Save the program and right click run. Run as Java application. So if a dynamic SQL, you can go with the run configuration. So run configurations means it's uh, ID in Eclipse ID itself. You can enter the data. Records inserted successfully. Now let's check whether it is inserted or not. Open the SQL command prompt. So previously what select star from student, no row selected. After that, uh, after creating the table, this is a message. Later I inserted one record. Select star from student, I inserted one record. Now I entered three records. Means total four records uh, fields has to be, uh, uh, four student details has to be there in the student table select star from student see here four uh, four students information three one is already previously entered so now these two are uh, these three are entered so this is how you have to enter uh, insert the data into a record so in the next video, I'll show you how to select the uh, inserted information means how to select the table and you can view that information in Eclipse ID. So that I'll explain in the next video. Thank you.